What's up guys, Marks here, Everything Ten Ray. I'm back at you again with episode 4 of the Rally Tower build. It's no point in getting lazy and not work on the Rally Tower, that's for sure. And today I actually went past a big hardware store to uh, look around for some suitable bolts and stuff to sandwich my two Rally Tower sides together. And also some other fitments and I found a really really good thing I'm gonna show you guys and change the camera angle around but before that I'm just gonna tell you what we're gonna do today so today we're gonna join the two pieces together and uh, make them solid so to speak and uh, from there we're gonna just go on and try maybe to mount the lights we'll see what we have time for today most likely just to to join the two pieces together and um, and whatnot so so stay tuned so as I stated I needed to buy some M4 bolts to uh, attach the two uh, sides together and I was talking about yesterday uh, that I was going to use these threaded inserts to put in the spacers and uh, use that to, to you know hold it together but I thought of a better idea when I saw this at the hardware store so this is a threaded tube or whatever you can say or something like that and it was exactly 22 millimeters uh, wide so this distance is 22 millimeters and that's the exact distance you know between the two sides of the tower so that's perfect the only downside is that the it's a smooth kind of finish on it so it will not um, you know lock in place in the spacer because these will go in like this Rip, straight through uh, so when you remove one screw if it's stuck somehow you will actually loosen it up on the other side but i think this is the best option right now i also have this kind of if I ever want to put something with more support and not countersink the hole, I could use these kind of cone washers kind of deal, right? Which is a really nice thing as well. Also bought some longer bolts for the tower where it is attached to the bike. And previously I had uh, these kind of bolts, right? which is really good to have because it has a flange so it's a bit wider at the base so you have more support and do not necessarily need to have a washer and for the tower attachment on the bracket on the frame you know you don't want to have things sticking out too much because you have some cables going there and whatnot so I opted to have one side with a cone head bolt with one of these cone type washers so that means that you know it's a really thin and flush mount but you have more support as well underneath here towards the plastic and then I have a, a nut on the other side which is the same as the head on this bolt so it has a flange so I don't need a washer so that's really good I have all the stuff needed to join these two pieces together so now I'm just gonna remove the tower from the bike as it sit right now and I'm gonna drill some holes and that's the next kind of hurdle when you don't have a drill press because everything needs to be straight the holes in the in the tower sides are already drilled with a pilot drill so I would need to align this and start with you know the the end screws or the end bolts the one that sits here and maybe here and attach it to that and then drill the other ones so everything is straight uh, and not crooked because then the holes will not line up you understand what I mean hopefully and so now I have both the holes here and my idea first off is to you know put uh, one of these and start with the lower lower portion here so I will put some uh, supports or the, the spacer in between here in a good way so they're not in the way and my car keys in the 
are in the pocket so my car keeps on unlocking and locking freaking irritating then I will actually gently clamp this together with the correct length of bolt of course because otherwise it would be hard and you have more cables coming down almost rubbing on the nut on uh, the right hand side of the bike so it would be ideal to use these on the right hand side instead of the left hand as I have them right now One thing that makes life a lot easier because now, you know, I'm not perfect. One hole or when I drilled it, it the first hole here, it was not perfect. So I will actually have to redo this one. But this time I will clamp it in here and I tighten the screws for the tower so I know that it is straight, both uh, of these are aligned and good and that way I can make sure that uh, it will not happen again. So I could see that this hole was a bit wandering, wandering outside so to speak. So I will redo it. So what I did now is that I drill from both sides because that was the best way. Drill, drill in halfway, go to the other side. See, I went straight through, no problem. Because I got one hole that was a bit crooked. And uh, it was not, you know, I didn't need to uh, take a new piece, but I just enlarged the hole where I have the stud. So everything is, uh, you know, maybe not as, it's a bit looser down there, but it does the job, you know, what it's supposed to do and hold these pieces together. Oops, I lost my drill bit here. But once we have got all these attachment points fixed, the tower will be so much more sturdy. 
So now I'm done with that one. If I want now, I can drill everything with four millimeter uh, for the screws straight away because I, you know, I anyways need to drill the, the spacer with a 4.9 and then press the little stud in. So I will do that. One thing that is good to remember when you have these threaded kind of uh, pins is make sure that they are, you know, you don't have any plastic residue in them because it acts like a freaking Loctite. So as you can see now, I attached one side of it. It's, it's rock solid in there and uh, I need to make sure that I have no residue here with plastic that goes into the threads. So what I will do now is actually uh, put on just two bolts on this side uh, and get this part that's supposed to sit here going and uh, then it's uh, you know pretty much all the supports are done might actually add a support here up here I think that would be a good idea to add one maybe up here in front uh, just so I have a little bit more support here and and also for rain not to get in from the front here even if I have the windshield but yeah so there we go boys and girls all the spacers are installed all the screws are installed for the space we have i might add one up here as well uh, but these are now tight these are not super tight but they are you know hand tightened and as you can see i can move the whole bike on the bike lift it's super super solid this will not go anywhere and of course, maybe I have added a bit over the top uh, when it comes to, you know, screws in here. I could have dropped maybe two screws here or at least one and maybe one down here. Uh, it does not need that many screws. But the thing with the sleeves, the, the threaded sleeves that I insert in the spacer here in between was, you know, the best idea. And... Uh, I'm super happy with this one right now. Next up will be putting on the lights, but this will be the end of episode four. And this is just joining the two pieces together. How I did it, a little guide. This will help if you're going to do the same thing, right? So, so hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, thank you a lot for supporting me. Please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye, cheerios.